Hi guys, how are you doing? So today what we are going to cover is JavaScript object notation. Yes, we also know it as JSON objects. Yes. So what we are going to cover in this lecture is everything about JSON, why it is important and today every application, every language pretty much uses JSON. So a good knowledge, a clear understanding of JSON will definitely help us in our JavaScript endeavors. So let's get started and see what we have in store for us. So the first thing is of course then the JSON, the name, the way it has come up. It's nothing but JavaScript object notation. So J S O N JavaScript object notation. So that's how the keyword JSON was tossed in when it came to existence. Now the format was specified by Douglas Crockford. Now this was way back when the JavaScript was getting popular. So Douglas came up with this format, uh, especially for, you know, having uh, exchange of data on how to do it. Now, JSON is also a syntax for storing and exchanging data. Basically, it was designed for human readable data inter exchange or interchange, as we say. So that's what I said. The main, main, main purpose of JSON objects or JSON is nothing but to have a good understanding and exchange of data between systems. JSON is text written with JavaScript object notation. So it is nothing but text in, in certain format so that you can express different data types with it. Now it has also been extended from JavaScript uh, scripting language. Of course, you can see a lot of references of JavaScript. In fact, in some cases you will say, oh, this is JavaScript and that's why we are clubbing it with JavaScript so that you can relate to it as well as understand the difference between the two. The file name extension that you use for any JSON file is .json, which is, let's say if you have a file name uh, for your products, you will have something called as a products.json. Now again, the application type or the internet media type that we say is nothing but application or JSON. So just like if you have an HTML document you're serving, you will have, uh, you know, slash text or uh, slash HTML. Similarly, if you have a JSON, you will do a slash JSON, which is application slash JSON. Now it is often used with Ajax, which is very obvious because Ajax is more like a single page applications where you can, you know, have uh, independent pieces load and update data as well as it can be more often a sync uh, process that can have data retrieved. So in that scenario, Ajax is very much dependent on the JSON data. It's very easy to use, very easy to iterate and very easy to display onto the screen. It is also used while writing JavaScript based application that includes browser extensions and websites, of course. And that's what we are co going to cover soon. So you will see how JSON objects are going to be used in the real world applications when we deal with it. But for now, let's just understand that they can be used for many things, including browser extensions and websites. So if you would have used a Chrome extension, uh, your Firefox add on, you would know that some of the applications that are there, they also use JSON data. So JSON format is used for serializing and transmitting structured data over internet connection or the network connection, as we say. Now, it is nothing but transferring of data on a particular network connections so that you can exchange data between websites and applications. It is primarily used to transmit data between a server and web application. I think this is very obvious by now. Now the web services and the APIs use JSON format to provide public data. So even if you have a blogger or a blog or a website like WordPress, where you are posting some articles and things like that. In any case, you can have a feed generated from your blogger or WordPress or any other medium. Then in that scenario, you can use the format JSON and you can retrieve the data. I will show you shortly on how that can be done. It's very easy and very straightforward to do. Now it can also be used with most modern day languages. And this is the biggest, biggest, biggest advantage that you see just like XMLs, even uh, JSON can be used with almost any language and you can fetch, retrieve data as well as use it for your purposes of computation or processing. So that was a very brief introduction on what JSON is. Now, if you have any, any questions around this, or you have any doubts or any suggestions, let me know in the Q and A section or probably in the comments below. And as usual, I will see you in the next class.